welcome back guys today we are doing my bedroom furniture assembly if you haven't seen any of the previous videos i've already assembled the boys and the girls bedroom so you can catch those for my bedroom i'm gonna give you a quick little story time so i bought my bedroom set at american freight it is the mccabe um, bedroom set in gray it is the closest i could find to the furniture i had in jamaica and i mean closest in terms of quality yes they come in a box and you have to assemble it most of the things we get to buy here are like that except if you're buying from maybe the amish and even so they manufacture them in a way that they can be shipped so that's what i had to do the night table pretty much came assembled I just had to assemble the feet or put on the legs and then the dresser came in three parts the bed had the footboard headboard the side pieces the slats they were all separate so I am not gonna lie it was difficult to put together but anyways i'm struggling with a dresser i was on the phone with my friend and i was telling her that just that part of the dresser weighed 173 pounds no wonder i was losing weight back in that time so one of the positives to shopping at this store is that they had the furniture in store and it would be delivered within a couple of days rather than having to wait weeks for shipping like other stores so that was the advantage the negative however is that they do not offer assembly services like it's not an add-on service that you can purchase and with the furniture coming in boxes they need some assembly but i spoke with a manager when i went to buy and he said that i could tip the deliver guys and they would assemble it for me so i said all right cool i arranged delivery for the day that i was supposed to collect the keys sure enough they arrived when i was here so spoke to the delivery guys arranged on a price and it was within my budget so i said all right they were supposed to do my bedroom furniture and set up the boys beds as well anyways they put the boxes in and they started telling me they can't do the bed because if anything happened to it then i wouldn't be able to claim warranty some stupidness like that anyways they went around so i said all right what about the other furniture they couldn't do the boys bed either because they forgot the drill and it would take them forever to do so it was an excuse i know it was an excuse it did take a while but with the two of them they could have done it easily i guess they just didn't want to do it and i wasn't gonna force so that's how i came to be setting up the furniture myself I looked online for handyman services and I think I found a couple on Tomtac and they quoted me like a hundred dollars per hour. Now you see how long it took me to do all of these. I wouldn't have been able to pay them when they were done because it took a while to get these assembled and yes they're experienced so it probably wouldn't have taken them as long but I was looking at a good chunk of change when they were done because they're working alone like I did so overall I'm happy I was able to assemble it myself but talking about that everything you see in this house here except for the couch myself and my mom moved them we didn't hire anybody and we moved them in my minivan so yeah it was a lot but it worked out I could do it on my own time I didn't have to rush to get everything in a truck all at once I didn't have to worry about um, people's time I just had to do it in my own time so here I am setting up um, the dresser I'm trying to put the legs on 
and I definitely rounded out a screw putting that bit on so I decided not to bother putting on the legs on the dresser plus like I said I'm not gonna be here forever and I'm gonna have to take it off so I didn't bother doing that so the dresser still isn't on the leg so it's a tad bit um, shorter than what it should be but I did put the legs on the chest of drawer and on the nightstand also I only got one nightstand and I think I am going to get the other one soon because it doesn't make sense having one at a time it kind of made sense to me and that's how they sell them here in the set but I'll get the other one soon I had to be cleaning as I was going because the delivered this furniture before I had a chance to clean up so you'll see just how dirty everything is so I had to put stuff in place and the room is tiny I think you could see the brown paneling on the wall well on two sides of the wall and it I hate it because it just takes away from the space it takes away a good like 10 inches from the room that's a lot of space that I could have used, but oh well. So I don't have any clips of it, but the mirror managed me. You can see it in the box there to the left of the screen. The mirror managed me when it go up and out of everything. That's the one thing I was worried about because I didn't want to drop it and break it. I don't know how I managed, but I did enough of me rambling watch me work Check for me. Yeah. 
so there you have it the finished setup i don't know if i'm going to keep it like this but you will have to stay tuned to the finished tour to see but all in all so far this bed has kept up i have no issues with any of the pieces i would definitely recommend this a solid 10 out of 10 durability everything the one issue i have is that i have a 10 inch mattress so it rises a little bit above the footboards the only thing i would change is get maybe an 8 inch and it would be flush with the footboards but in a few years when i change the mattress that's an easy fix so i would definitely recommend this